Hey guys, Chase back. And today I want to talk about every saltwater or brackish water's best friend. And no, I'm not talking about the hydrometer. I am talking about the refractometer. This is a lot more accurate than a hydrometer. Um, I used a hydrometer for this before, and unfortunately that hydrometer only lasted me about three to four uses. So, hopefully it comes out nice and clear for you. Open it up. So you get your cleaning cloth. Now all of them are different. I actually, I love it now since these actually came down in price before. They were like three, four hundred dollars for one of these. I got this off of Amazon, I believe, for I want to say like fifteen bucks. It really wasn't much, but most of them they should come with a pipe, a couple pipettes. Your refractometer. It also comes with a little screwdriver to adjust. Underneath this black piece is a screw, which this I already have calibrated. To calibrate these, you want to put three drops of distilled water on here, close it up, and turn that screw until it hits zero. These are extremely easy to use. They are fantastic, and today I'm going to show you, hopefully it shows up on camera really well, but I'm going to test this water. It should be probably about 1.010, about-ish. That's usually where I try to keep it for the crabs. Uh, sometimes I'll take it a little bit higher, um, like to 1.015. But lately I've been keeping it at 1.010, 1, 1 uh, the crabs seem to like it. Of course, none of them are going to make an appearance, but eh, that's normal, isn't it? So, first, take my refractometer. Actually, I'm going to make this a lot easier on myself. First, I'm going to take my pipette. Get just a little bit of water in there. I'm going to set it up here to the side. And give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. I wanted to put the piece of glass down so that way I can uh, kind of do this one-handed. So I'm going to lean it up on there. I'm going to take this pipette. Squeeze just a little bit of water out. I want three drops on this. So one two, three. Okay, I can squirt the rest of it back into the tank. I'm going to take this right here. And I'm going to close it and make sure there's an even spread across there. Now what you do with this is you'll take it and you'll look through this end. So let's hold it above this tank. See about getting the camera up here soon as I can hit it and you can see right there I am dead on at 1.010 and that is my salinity for my brackish water tank pretty cool isn't it so that means my salt level in this tank is exactly where I want it. So then after you're done, just lift this up. Take your cloth. I'm actually just going to dump some of that off. Just polish it up for the next time. Clean all that water off of there. And now it's good to go for the next use. So... If you decide to do a salt or a brackish water tank, forget the hydrometers. They are, in my experience, they're not even that accurate. 
this is more accurate than anything else. And they're cheap now. I remember when I had my saltwater tank years and years and years ago before I even thought of... Before YouTube, I think, even existed. I had a 220-gallon saltwater tank. And one of these things, at the time, cost me probably about three to $500. I can't remember to this day. And the older ones were kind of a little bit harder to calibrate than these ones are. But this one, like I said, I got off of, I believe, Amazon. It was like 15 bucks. Now, just keep an eye out because they have all kinds of different ones for, like, measuring your beer, uh, like the hops content or alcohol content or something like that. They have one for measuring honey. Make sure you get one, the one for salinity. <clears throat> and everybody in there is happy. I wish I could get one of the crabs on camera. Water's a little murky right now because I just did a top off, so. But. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. The refractometer, refractometer, however you want to say it. If you decide on brackets to salt, get one. All right, later on, guys.